How to Build a Telescope Dolly, Part 3. This is the third video in playlist, How to Build a Telescope Dolly. It gives construction tips and tricks for building the dolly. Many of the boards in the dolly are held together with wood screws, so let's refresh your memory on how to work with wood screws. They're general purpose wood screws. They're usually brassy and they're different lengths available and they have a Phillips uh, socket in the top which is kind of a square socket. And what you do is you clamp the two boards together that you're going to be connecting with the screws. You pick a wood screw that will go through the first board and halfway through the second board. And the wood screws are different diameter than the ones that are different lengths. So by trial and error using a scrap piece of lumber, pick a drill bit that when you drill the hole, the screw will fit into it tightly. Go ahead and drill all the holes where the screws will go. Drill them as deep as the screws will go. Then pick another drill bit by trial and error so that the screw will go through it snugly but will, don't, doesn't need to thread into the hole and then drill through the first piece of wood with that larger drill bit. You may find it easier to separate the boards to do that or you may be able to do it by feel or you may be e even able to put some pieces of wood against the drill to adjust how far down the bit can go and do it that way. Whatever works for you. So you're going to drill through the top piece only, the diameter that will clear the screw, that the screw will shove through without threading. Then you're going to countersink all those holes with the countersink bit. And lastly, you're going to insert the screws and tighten them up. Drill the hole with the countersink bit just deep enough so that the screw head is below the surface of the outer board. When you're laying out the parts uh, to determine where exactly to cut your 2x4s, and you have the wheels in their actual positions, you can go ahead and use the scratch awl to put a prick in the center of each of the mounting holes. Be very careful to get the, the hole exactly in the center of each hole. Then later, you'll drill the holes out completely and you'll start with a small bit, use a medium bit, then use a bit that's slightly larger than the bolts. That way, when you drill through the wood, the build, drill bit won't drift sideways and put the hole in the wrong position. When you're laying out the 1x2 directly across the 2x4 prior to measuring and cutting it, you want to make sure it's exactly perpendicular to the 2x4 and you'll use the square, the carpenter's square, to do that. Temporarily remove the wheel where it sits on the 2x4. You'll put the carpenter square on this side of this board and you'll let one end to come down slightly so you can put, press it against the side of the 2x4 to keep it square and then the other part of the carpenter square you will press the 1x2 against that side. That will guarantee that this is perpendicular to the 2x4. Here's how to cut the equilateral triangles. I cut my equilateral triangles using both a miter saw and a bench saw, but I'm going to show you how you can do that if you don't happen to have those tools. Take, here's the original 2x2 two two foot piece. Goes from here to here, out here somewhere to here. You need to find out where the point is and mark it so that you can cut an equilateral triangle. If you remember your high school geometry, here's how you do that. You take a pencil and you tie a string around it near the tip. You put the pencil on this corner and you hold the other end of the string here and now you're going to draw an arc. But you only really need it up near where you think the point's going to be. So you're going to draw an arc up here with a tied pencil here with a string going here and you're holding it down. So you cut an arc. You do the same thing from this side, you cut another arc. Where those arcs cross, that's the point of your equilateral triangle. Mark the point, of course, and then draw a line with a ruler from the corner to that point and from this corner to that point. And now all you have to do is cut the board along that line to have your equilateral triangle. 
Now you can do that with any number of uh, saw methods. If you have a, a like a jigsaw, you can clamp a board to use as a guide and then run the jigsaw along where the, we actually need to cut. That way you can get a pretty straight cut. If you try to freehand it, this cut won't be very straight. So that's one way to cut the equilateral triangle. Here's how I did it. I started with the, com with the miter saw and I set it to 30 degrees. I clamped the each piece of plywood one at a time. Don't try to do them both at once. Clamp each piece of plywood in 30 degree angle. Cut as far as you can. Flip it over. Cut the other corners the same way. Remember, they're only part way across. Do both pieces that way. Make sure that the edge distance from here to here matches on the two pieces of plywood that you're cutting, by the way. If it doesn't, uh, you'll have to adjust one of them so that it matches the other one. Make sure you cut them at the same, the same dimension from here to here. The next thing you need to do is finish those cuts. And the way I did it was with a bench saw. Lay the plywood that's partially cut on the saw so that the saw blade goes through the part you've already cut. Now, I've taken the guard off for purposes of making these pictures. Don't take the guard off when you're doing the work. It's very dangerous. There's a guard that goes on top, and there's an anti-kickback uh, device that goes back here. Don't take those off when you're actually doing the work. And also, this blade needs to come maybe a quarter inch above the wood, not as far as it's shown here. Use two C-clamps to mount a piece of 2x4 against the end of the saw and across under the plywood. So it will guide the plywood as you saw it. Back the wood off the blade. Turn on the saw very carefully. Now push it through the saw, keeping this board against the end. Cut all the way through. Flip it over, repeat the process for this side. Do the other piece the same way. Now you've got two equilateral triangles that look like this. Cut the tips off so that they're somewhat narrower than the width of the two by fours. My bench saw has an extension where you pull it out on two girders and then the, you can put the rip fence here. Put one of the sides against the rip fence. Position this so that the blade will cut off enough wood to make it slightly less than the width of a 2x4. Cut the tip off. Do it for all three tips of both pieces of plywood. If you liked my video, please like it and add a comment. If you subscribe and request email notifications, you'll be notified when videos are added to the channel. To visit my channel, click my name, Thomas Wallace, or my photo. Here's how to visit Tom's Tech Notes later. The address of the website is tomstechnotes.com. And to find the YouTube channel, just search for T-O-M-S-T-D-A.